Last week on Expedition Drenched, we wake up in the beautiful Deepwater Cove and some of the crew start their first ever diving lessons. There's nothing quite like squeezing into a soggy wetsuit in the cold, silent early hours of the morning and absolutely loving it. Nate, Lindsay and me woke up in the darkness, ready to jump into the freezing water for a night dive. <laughs> what are we doing, Nate? Going diving. <laughs> Somebody's brainiac idea named Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna set up some lights in the wreck around the helm. And we're gonna do some cool shots, kind of like flyby. So we're gonna take all of our dive lights, which is a lot. We got a lot of lumens up in that helm. And is this here? Is this considered a, a night dive? Is this Molly's first night dive? I think so. It's a night dive. Yeah, it's pretty dark. It's turned into a twilight dive. <laughs> Crazies out here. <laughs> I'm stoked you guys are all about that. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Here we go. Check, check. All right, we are descending down from the shipwreck. Lindsay went down ahead, and he's in the process of putting some lights in the helm. That is a good way to start the morning. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, rainbow. Rainbow. Oh, cool. <laughs> so I've just come up from my first night dive, a kind of night dive. It was about six in the morning, but it was still really dark. So I suppose it counts as a night dive. Yeah, I'm glad my ears were all right because yesterday yesterday I couldn't equalize so I couldn't get down and it was really frustrating and I was, I was stretching and moving around but I um, just did everything I could to make sure that I would be able to dive today and I'm so glad I did it was really cool it just looked like a like a ghost ship like it was glowing and like it was alive and It's a work day. What you working on, Mom? Yep. Sugar scrubbing. Scrubbing? How about you? Cooling. Scrubby, scrubby. Yes, we end up there. <laughs> Never stops. You got to check on Lindsay. What are you working on today, bud? Uh, just fixing up a few things we didn't quite finish when we were last doing this project, so. Yeah. We're up to, what are you guys working on today? How about you, Amir? What are you uh, doing? Music. Music? Yeah, I started a new track yesterday. It's really good, actually. Yeah? yeah, last night. Can't fall asleep. You're all sleeping. I'm laptoping. Yeah. Like, Molly, what are you up to? Editing some photos. Woo! For the Instagram. For the Instagram, yeah. yeah. And Will and Chloe, what are you guys up to today? 
I just made um, fizzy lemon water. Lemon water? Yeah. What's it? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> and you coming? Yeah, we're waiting to the Johnny Five to work, and then we can start for the new episodes. How is it going? Good. We finished the next skin. Nice. Really nice. Careful of the point of rest so you How often is often? No, it depends uh, what happens on deck, but uh, let's say one per week at least or two weeks. Okay. What are you trying to spot? I just spotted okay. a woman in a bikini on the other boat. <laughs> oh, are you looking for a nice woman? No, there's people on the beach there. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so I got a couple surprises that we're gonna do today, and uh, yeah, work day's done. Everybody did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> um, when we first kind of came up with what we wanted our project to be like, it sounded pretty out there, pretty crazy. Um, to really invite a bunch of strangers from all over the world that I thought would have the same kind of ideals, the same. Um, you know, hopes and aspirations, and that would be super open to um, showing themselves to the world and what we're all about. I just want you guys to know that I'm, yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy of how things are going so far, and we have certainly had more trials than I think most crews already, and we haven't even kicked off. Of all the crews that ever crewed, this crew has earned it. I hope that that by doing what we do, that it excites people um, to want to get into scuba diving, to learn about marine creatures, to maybe choose an alternative lifestyle for themselves, maybe just to be more open to strangers in the world around them, maybe to travel more, maybe all of the above. That's what I hope for. Just want to tell you guys thank you. And I got you guys a print. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you guys know what it is. I got flags for everybody. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No Belgians. <laughs> Real flag. So we're gonna raise those uh, today. We're gonna keep them up. And um, when and if the day you leave, you will uh, take that with you. Thank so, you. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. I hope that's no time soon. I wrote a little something for when we originally planned to paint over the sign, which was like Fog right. Up. It was like right when Molly got here. So how long ago was that? <laughs> About five weeks. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like a little over a month ago. Yeah. Um, and, and anyway, so this is what I wrote, and I still feel like it seems relevant today. It's actually a letter to Sylvia. Dear Sylvia, you may not realize it, but you're the most special boat in the world. Built by hand with love and ingenuity, you were imparted with a spirit of adventure paired with boundless heart and soul by the family that crafted you. Thank you for being you, for being unique, for being strong, for being caring. When I think about all the places we will go together, the oceans we will cross, the souls we will encounter along the way, my heart fills up with a gratitude and a bond I've never felt before. You are so much more than the steel you are built out of. You are our home and our partner and our gateway to a life that we could have never dreamt of in our wildest imagination. You have and will continue to change the lives of all the people that are lucky enough to meet you. Sylvia, you are a boat of a lifetime and I can't wait to get to know you more and more as the years tick by. You are loved more than you will ever know. Now let's go see the world together. No. Here we go. Woo! Not for sale. Not for sale. <laughs> you want to do some? Yeah. Send it. Woo! She's out! Yeah. Yeah. Yeehaw! Okay, I'm going up there. The cape on my way up. <laughs> it is a coincidence that this American flag is massive. I just ordered the flag they had, and this is what they had. They don't make American flags small. <laughs> No, but this is 
what they had. And I got a New Zealand flag as well, because no matter where she goes, no matter what she does, Sophia will always be a New Zealand boat. So I got one of each. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I just took a shower and I heard like, oh, there was a turtle down, dolphins, we're gonna watch the sunset. So yeah, I just came straight out of the shower. <laughs> Definitely the same ones as yesterday. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got ourselves some dolphins. Oh, hey, man. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Sun rose and a new day begun. We make our way back to Apua, both to shelter from an upcoming storm and to be ready for a new weather window, which has appeared. Hopefully, this is our chance to set sail for Nui. Our fingers and toes are crossed. Back to our home. Back to our home. <laughs> the last time, third time, best time. Yeah. <laughs> time I don't even charm. know if that's an expression in English. Do you say that? We, we say third time's a charm. Okay, third time is a charm. Yeah. <laughs> Since we're gonna sail, we were thinking of making some bread in advance. So, what kind of bread are we making today, Molly? Cheesy garlic bread. Ooh, mm -hmm. it's the first time that we do this one, right? Yeah, we've never put. Ooh, what's this? We've never put cheese in before. Mm. Yeah. And then a fruity, seedy one too. Yeah. <laughs> we should make one with a cheese filling. To molten piece of cheese in the middle of the bread. Mm. What do you think? You want to try that, Molly? Hell yeah! <laughs> Is ready to get in the oven. back to Apua because we uh, feel like we have another weather window. It feels a little bit like deja vu. So, but this time we have employed the services of one mitbob.com or Bob at mitbob.com who is supposedly like the authority in weather routing and stuff through New Zealand and South Pacific. Uh, this is going to be the gnarliest passage of the season and we just said, you know what, let's just make sure that we get it right this time. And from there we'll try to tackle it ourselves. <laughs> How do you feel about going back to Okua? I feel, I mean, I feel good because I feel that it's, I feel that this is finally it, you know? Like we've said a bunch of times that we're leaving and we've headed back to Okua and we were we were ready, we were ready, but we weren't ever really ready or the weather wasn't right. It's been this thing that we've built up in our mind, like we're going to the islands, we're doing our first passage, we're going to do it, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. And part of it's a little bit scary, you know, and, and, and it feels good that we're finally, like, no matter what happens out there, it's like we're doing it, you know?
Alright, it was one of the first dodgeballs, I think. Ah! Oh. <laughs> False alarm, no dolphins! No dolphins! No, I got the whole gang out of there! False alarm, no dolphin! Go about your business. Oh, the cheese is just spilling out. How proud are you of your cheese bread that you and Molly made? Yeah, quite proud. We are sailing straight downwind. We've got about eh, like 12 knots and it's a pretty chill day and We've got the main out, we've got the Genoa out, and we're trying to do like a butterfly with the Genoa on one side and the main on the other. But it's tough because it's pretty rolly, so every time we roll, we keep losing the shape of the sail. Woo! I got Rainbow! It's leading us right to the spot where we go. Right to the spot. We might find the treasure. <laughs> Pot of gold waiting for us! <laughs> oh, good, good. We just pulled back in. I was pulling in. I was on that old ferry. <laughs> nice, buddy. Nice. What are you up to? I just got in home. Uh, how was your trip? Amazing. Did a lot of diving. Did all sorts of cool stuff. But we're uh, here. There's a good weather window on Friday, so I don't know what our plans are, but we'll be here for a couple days. I'm just gonna come say hi. We're about to go in anyway. Can you do that? Cool, I'll give you a beer. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Good morning, everyone. You're listening to Chill Hot Radio, giving you what you need for the bright day ahead. How beautiful is that day gonna be? So I've just woken up and it's the most beautiful, calm morning. I haven't surfed in quite a while and I'm missing it quite a lot, so I thought I'd go for a little paddle about. I've just arrived at this tiny, tiny little island in the middle of the harbour. and. It reminds me of one of the worlds that the little prince would visit in the book that I was reading. And the others have gone to use the Wi-Fi in a cafe. So they'll be right over here. And there's Sylvia all the way over there. It's so peaceful and so quiet. Yeah, a good way to wake up. I found this little cave, which would be perfect for sleeping in overnight. And what a lovely view to wake up to. I've actually been sleeping in quite a few caves recently whilst climbing around Australia, mostly in the Blue Mountains. And yeah, slept in quite a few caves along the way. Join us next time where we'll finally set sail for our passage to Nui. It's a beautiful day for sailing 1500 miles. It's pretty stressful because it's very windy. It's freezing. You're drifting pretty hard to starboard. I got butterflies in my stomach. Holy Get it on the tweet right now!